I think a competitor needs to train a lot because uh, you want to have the best results in the tournament. Uh, so you need uh, to train at least twice a day in jiu-jitsu, right? Uh, and you need to have conditioning as well. Uh, I always need like strength conditioning uh, aside. And I think it's really, really important. And maybe like you can do like two through four times a week uh, in conditioning, some type of cardio as well. I know like people say, oh, you should like roll a lot to get a better cardio. But I think like when you do a, a different type of cardio, such as running or bike or uh, maybe even um, just going to a nice place, you know, on the beach and then run or swimming, I think you improve your cardio, you know. So I think for a competitor, you need to add some type of training that will increase your cardio, you know, because it's really important. You can have all the techniques, right? Uh, but if you don't have a good conditioning, it's gonna be hard for you to um, apply the techniques during the fight, especially like under pressure. So you have a lot of pressure going on during the tournaments, a lot of adrenaline, you know? And that's another question that I can answer as well, you know, how to control the adrenaline during the tournaments. But training-wise, you need uh, to train as much as you can, you know, no matter what. I believe in the hard work. I believe, like, if you want to win, you need to work hard, you know? There's no other way. I think you need to deserve to win. Um, so, train you just twice a day. Um, you can have a day off, maybe during the week, right? On the weekends, I don't train, but because I'm a black belt already, uh, I think, like, a blue belt, purple belt needs to train every single day, even Saturdays, maybe. Maybe like Sunday off, but in the middle of the week you need to have a break. And you need to have a time for yourself as well, you know. Um, I think it's too much sometimes when you're just on the mat all the time, all the time. Then you can burn out, you know, so you can get burned out. So I suggest you to have a balance, you know, maybe going to movie theaters, maybe uh, going to the beach, enjoy your girlfriend, your, your friends, you know, I think it's part of life as well. Otherwise you're going to be stuck. Uh, in the gym, you know, you need to get the sunlight, you know, it helps your vitamin D, which is, uh, helps a lot against depression, you know, a lot of people, they train really hard and they get super depressed, you know, so I, I suggest you to not only work at the gym, but when you do a cardio or when you do like something different, you can go like outdoors, I think, like, I like a lot about those trainings, those type of training, I think it's really important for you. Um, and have a time to drill as well, maybe like 30 to 45 minutes to just sharper techniques, your best techniques, you know. And I think a competitor needs to do a private lesson as well. I think it's important. Uh, like I said before in the other video, like you, I, I did a lot of privates with my coaches, but uh, if you can invest, if you can invest on, on that, I think it's really important. Uh, it's a great investment.